YouTube, so welcome back, and today, as you can see, we are going to be making this daily reward UI, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, we're not going to be making this ribbon ourselves, if you guys would like, I could do that in a separate video myself, but if I was to make it in this one, it would take way too long, and uh, it's already kind of late, so I'm trying to get, you know, this video out. Uh, pretty soon. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the resto obviously um, I think this looks pretty cool for like a an RPG. Yeah, let's start. First things first, make a new layer And if you grab a ruler, just place it in the middle. We're gonna take our pencil and I have my options set to shape and um, Right here, we're just gonna go let's just click click over here and right here you just want to drag this out and then hold alt, click on the shape, click on the square to reset your curvature. And drag a ruler to the middle approximately. Hold shift and click to make a straight line. Hold shift and click again up here. Now with this, um, we're gonna hit control J to copy. Control T to bring up our free transform tools and right click and hit flip vertical. Now with this, we're just going to take these two, Control J to copy, and uh, Control C to right click, and flip horizontal. Alright, so, now as you can see, we have this shape. Okay? Alright, I'm going to take this, I'm going to hit Control G to make a group, as you can see, Control J to copy, and then take this and convert to Smart Objects. Now I am going to copy this once again. I'm gonna hide this for now. I'm gonna take this and go into blending options and from here I'm gonna go color overlay. And you want to select the inside color. Let's go for inner shadow. Make sure your color is on black. And we're just going to bring this all the way in, like so. And just lower the opacity. We can try overlay. Let's see how it looks. It's the same thing, pretty much. Okay, so go for something like this right here. Or actually, if we pick on this color, I kind of like this right here. There we go. Alright, so I think that's cool. And now, with this layer, uh, to make this gold border, we are going to right click and hit rasterize layer. Now, you want to hold control and click on the layer icon to make a selection. We're going to go to select, modify, and contract. I'm going to go for by 10. Nah, it's too little. If we go for 25, that's too much. <laughs> uh, let's go for 20. Alright, I think that should be fine. Okay. Now, if you hit backspace twice and hit control D on your keyboard. Now you can see we have a nice border. Now, in blending options, let's go for color overlay. Change our color to a nice gold. Pick any color, we'll go for that. Seems reasonable. Let's go for bevel and emboss. Turn these both up and soften all the way down. Size down as well. Depth is all the way up. Let's change the technique to chisel hard. As you can see, and right here, you just want to play with the settings a little bit. As you can see, uh, you could mess around with the angle as well as this contour thingy. This seems pretty cool, not gonna lie. Um, I like this right here actually. It seems uh, accurate to this thing somewhat. <laughs> Okay, so pick one you like and lower the opacity a little bit. And now for these metal items, make a new layer. And you're just going to repeat the process. So we're gonna go for uh, this shape right here. So this is going to cut it down. I um, make a copy just in case I gotta go back but 
Now I'm going to right click and copy the slayer style and then I'm just going to paste it here. I'm going to go in and change the color because this one is red as you can see. And now for the same thing we're going to take this, we'll control click, modify, contract, we go for 10 this time, backspace, and I'm going to grab this gold, copy layer style, right click and paste. As you can see, uh, it looks pretty good. Um, let's take this, place it, not here, but I'm just aligning it. Uh, let's place it right here, I think, so it's supposed to go like here. Okay, I'm going to copy and control T, we're going to resize these for right here and go into this layer, go into the color overlay and we're just going to go back to this color. Right, and I'm going to hit OK. Now for this middle part, this is just a, you can use a rectangle on a new layer. We're just simply going to go across and paste the gold layer style. So right here, make a new layer and go for our ellipsal. And right here, let's do these first. So let's make a circle. And I'm going to double click. Let's go for a gradient overlay, normal, uh, angle, negative 90. Oops. Let's click here, let's double click, and we'll select the top color. Uh, Photoshop is being very slow, but click on the bottom color. Hit OK. Let's go for a stroke, and in the stroke, we're going to select this little outside color-ish if I can. Alright, that looks perfect. Um, so place these right here and then I'm going to go down. As you can see, and now for these bubbles, uh, let's take this, I'm going to copy it like so, and we're going to go into Gradient overlay again. Uh, let me figure this out. So, okay. So turn off stroke first of all. Just go into gradient overlay, and I'm gonna select a nice red color. Uh, I'm trying to get. I'm gonna select a nice red color. I'm go for this one. Doesn't really matter. Just gonna pick one, like so. And now I'm going to go for Inner Shadow, uh, color black. And then just adjust the angle, kind of like this right here. And right here we're just going to adjust this until we get something that looks good. We can take these and duplicate these across, obviously, like so. Now finally for the button, same process. And that is pretty much it. That is how you guys can make this very nice reward UI, as you can see. Now, if you want, you can add a ribbon. Um, this one is not identical, but you know, I'm just doing this to show you how it will look. So, yeah, there you guys have it. Make sure to leave a like if this video helps you at all. Make sure to share and comment what else you guys want to see and with that being said i will see you guys in the next video